because I, I was cute and fat i used to look like a teddy bear so i was cute fat and then i'm bow legged so i was just a pretty little <laughs> thing <laughs> Hey all, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of Chance on Akamakawa. I'm your girl Fish Moringe. And I'm Maureen Yombura. Maureen, you're smiling today. You're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and last time you're, you're complaining that I'm so grumpy. Today I'm smiling. I woke up knowing that you're going to do Chanzo. Hey, hey Chanzo. This so, must be... It was a very exciting, mm -hmm. exciting episode in Yemorin Bakana smile. She's all smiley and you're looking lovely. Oh, says the lady who looks lovely. Oh. If there's a word like that. Oh, thank you. Mm. Chacheke kitabu kando. Hata umeenda home. Nisha fika nyumbani. And today tunaongea chanzo, at chanzo tutaku ongelelea family set up. So we want to know if the family set up ndio chanzo ya mambo mingi ambayo na happen kwa maisha yetu sisi wote tofauti au family set up hai add any value or anything let's just talk about it Maureen tell us about your family set up before i talk about our family set up this is uh, for anybody who's new here we talk about chanzo yeah. we said chanzo is nenda hapo nyuma check that episode you'll understand exactly what is chanzo what it means and uh, it being the beginning, I believe it starts from the family. A family setup. How do you grow up in the setup? I grew up in a very small family setup. It was just me and my younger brother, my mom and my mm -hmm. dad. I used to look at other families and I used to feel like, eh, eh, why don't I have a sister? Well, eh. <laughs> no, I used to feel way well on myself. <laughs> because, okay. My brother is almost 10 years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So I was so the 10 only years, one. 10 years of being babied. Yes. Being pampered. No, I can't remember being pampered per se. Okay. I thought I thought I'm the only Okay, time. I was pampered, but I, di I didn't let myself being pampered at a point in life. Mm -hmm. I think I lived too Mahali and I got... I stopped being a baby simply because my mom, my, my mom used mm -hmm. to go to work. My mom was a photographer. She used to work in Kodak then, yo, if you know what that meant. The dark rooms. Unailewa. Yeah, where the Kod hence the passion. Mm. Yes. See the same as passion. No, I'm saying hence your passion. Because yes. as as you've grown up seeing her doing camera and what cameras and the dark rooms and that and my dad used to be a teacher. So they used to go and leave me at home. Uh -huh. So most of the time, either I'm at school, I'm a niko nyumbani peke yangu. And then I grew up when uh, there were no nani nani thing. So my mom used to leave lunch for me and just go. So, so anapika, anapika, and anacha food. Yeah. Thought, so you had to grow up very yeah. fast. So I grew up very fast to a point where she never even used to leave the food anymore. Because mm -hmm. I used to stay kwa kompongi ya shule. So to niko tuna soba kwa yo shule. Oh, because your dad was a teacher. Yes. Some niko mneishi kwa, kwa teacher's quarter. Yeah, teacher's quarter. And your teacher's quarter, it was weird because it just had two houses. Our house and a neighbor hapo nyuma, mm -hmm. ilikuwa nyumba moja, but sasa tulikuwa tunaishi wawili. One doi miangalia mbele na doi nyuma. nyuma. Eh, nyumba and this, eh, and and this other nyuma. guy... I don't know, he was a teacher and then I could retire. So he never he never used to be home. And then the other house was far away at the other corner of the compound. That was the headmistress um quarters. Quarters. So no to go to a wheelie. So I never get to see other it was no, just you, you it alone. was just me. So what it did to me in the first school grow up very fast. Mm -hmm. Ju, Niki Rudi kutoka home, there it is. Kama vyombo zili kwa zimeachua hapo, niki toka shule, na usha vyombo, and then we had a garden. So I used to do things on my own. Now when it comes to, let, let's say, sasa mm -hmm. venye, because you, you grew up uh, na mom and dad, mm -hmm. mine is like total opposite. Mm -hmm. Ivo ukiyo na mamako na babako, iliku inakuletea any sort of feeling, ama them being together, what impact did it make? Like, okay, I think I was very young, then... Let, let me talk about then. Mm -hmm. I never used to understand or know that. The, at, I thought ni kawaida. To have a mama and a dad. Yes, it was kawaida. So, sababu, mi nilikuwa na mom na nilikuwa na dad. dad. By the time nilikuwa na jijua. My dad and your dad. My dad. 
so wakiwa kwa hao mm. like you see how when you can go home then you start telling your child no usifanye hii fanya who, who was the disciplinarian hapo kwa my mom the mom my mom was the disciplinarian but again unasikia nili grow up very fast so siku ana time ya kuambia usifanye usifanye by the time wanarudi i remember the first time very first time i cooked ugali nilitoka shule then my dad akakuwa ameenda I, I, i don't remember kule alienda but he was not around the school mm-hmm. compound So mimi nikarudi lunch time nikaona hapo kuna maziwa we used to have a cow. So kuna maziwa and then there is nothing to eat. Mimi ndio huyo nikaeka ugali kwa stove. Ukajiambia asa. No no we used to have a stove not a gas. Yeah the stove stove ya ukweli. Stove ya tambi. <coughs> you know ile ya tambi. Ya mafuta ata. Sita. Ma- <laughs> Una jiskiza una hata stove wanafikiria it's a gas no just turn on the stove no, 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 yeah, not that one <laughs> Oops I got to the bill so you got Juliza mwenye amekuliza alijua je your advert Pagnolis of Marco kitabu niliona kwa TBT kwa TBT ya mahali hata ujui hizo nini hata sijui ni nini hizo So rasikia mimi nikaekelea ugali nikasonga ugali na ikaiva kwa stove I was so proud of myself. You know I never ate that oh, ugali. Oh, gonga your stove mafuta tai. Wala shika tambi lipo. No, ilikuwa the the ilikuwa ile yani ni kubwa. Si kale kadogo. Eh kale zile zenye zilikuwa square, zenye zilikuwa zile eh, zilikuwa eh, eh, so ilikuwa kubwa. So mm. kangekuwa kadogo, of course ningechoma nyumba juu. Kifanye hivyo ugali upendwe, ugonge moto, ugonge mafuta, ugonge ugali. So I was so excited by the time lunch break inaisha, si kwa nimekula. So oh, bado ka excited nimekatu nilikatia ugali hapo na nikarudi class. Going back to Apple right class. I, w- I think I was in class 3. So like 9 in, years. Eh in. nilikuwa class 3 hapo. Class 3 class 3 class 4. Mhm. Hey, so me I was excited I never ate the ugali so nilileka nil- ugali hapo ningoje madhi na father niwaambie. Eh guess what I did? Look what your daughter did. Makofi so, makofi kila mtu. <laughs> so from there That was me. Tuko na shamba, tuko na ngombe, tuko na maziwa, tuko na kuni, tuko na msogoro, you know. So I used to have all the resources for me. So sikuwa na ngoja kuambiwa nifanye kitu. And your mom and dad they didn't have like arguments or something or anything that made you think that ah maybe I say awange kwa pamoja life ingekuwa better. No. So they never argued in front of you. No, me wacha ni kwa mimi I never even knew that people fight at people in marriage or people marriage. I never understood the whole thing at in Mary Mimi nilikuwa tuna jua niko na mama niko na dad tunaenda nga church sisi ni wakatho tunaenda church kama family kama family kuna jumuiya you know all that all that for me growing up was fun so me I never saw my parents me growing up nikiwa mdogo mm-hmm. wakikuwa in... until I grew up mm-hmm. and I started realizing oh so this is what we call a conflict kuna you can tell there is a certain tension kwa nyumba, kwa nyumba. so Do, that same ulikuwa ka how old ah, kwa high school sasa ndo unaanza ku notice uh, oh. something so is not, we are not right. happy yeah ama ah, leo made na dad hawako happy but they never did it did, they, did they ever do this thing that some people do hmm. as in wakikwa na hiyo tension then mse instead ya kulala kwa bedroom unapata madhara lala kwa kiti ama fadhana tumwaka sana sana ni wababa eh hey, wanawake we are so we like dominating but then tunasema anga wanaume ndo wa sisi tunapanga huyo mtu macho hivi anajibeba anaenda tu kwa kiti pole pole blanket zake anaje is a sofa day unaenda <laughs> kwa sofa waliwahi fanya hivyo not when i was young I when you guys it. if you are high school so after we've grown up now you know just unaelewa so when you no know, sometimes it was like ah, maybe he's taking a nap or he took a nap akiona tv ya kalala ah tindo ke wanana Oh. It's not what I thought. Funny. Eh uh-huh. eh. But I thank my parents because walifanya hiyo kitu ya ku waliwashinda hata kama eh, eh, whatever they were going kama, through. It w- of course it was there. Hakuna marriage haina. But walitushind sana. Kutu ndo kwa you know to keep you away from, from that missing. ugly part. Me angu. Uh-huh. Okay. I think my uh, family set up first first. I was just by a single mom. Yeah, and then nilireziwa uh, uh, like a very big portion of my life nilireziwa na grandmother yangu na grandfather yangu. Mm-hmm. So cause my mom after I separate na my dad mm-hmm. there was a time so my mom do separate na my dad it was me and my elder sister 
just the two of just you. the two of us okay so then i separate personally i don't remember my mom and dad fighting but my sister does i think because she was so older she was older, older than, than me yeah. Yeah. so me i don't remember um and then tuka move kwa grandparents wangu sasa mm. na sister wangu, my older sister so when we moved there so hold up so when you your mom and dad separated ninyo mm-hmm. mkaenda kuishi na grandparents oh, okay. oh yeah we moved with my mom by the pia so my mom went back uh, she went back, back with you guys with us, eh. okay so we used to leave my grandma my granddad my aunties my uncles and my mom and us so it was a very big family <laughs> Okay. It was a very big family. Then my granddad was so strict and my grandma mm. she she was this type of loving people. So she was a, she was a very loving woman. So with time I think mama yangu as a woman mm. utakatiwa tena uingie box. Unajua? Yeah yeah, it's, it's part of life. Yeah, so my mom moved out. I'm assuming because probably most men by the way wakikuwa na single wakiona we ni single mother they feel like your children are a baggage so okay. i'm assuming i wasn't there so i don't know but i'm assuming whoever she was dating ali make her feel he like ako na, na liabilities exactly with her with us mm. so my mom chose to le- leave us behind okay kwa grandparents way too which was okay cuz us we didn't feel anything or rather mimi si kwa na feel <laughs> I was like I was happy because I was the baby in the house. Yeah, you're the baby in the house and everybody is looking, looking after uh, the baby. Uh, then I was uh, I was cute and fat. I used to look like a teddy bear. So I was cute, fat, and then I'm bolegged. So I was just a pretty little okay. thing. <laughs> Says the <he> balance. Goja. Ni mnono si balance. Did you have to bring the bolegged? Yeah, I'm bolegged. Ah. Oh. Uh, guys i think i'll find one of my photos to where okay, you see as in i was a complete ball legged toy and then fat and i used to napenda kucheka by the way so i used to laugh and watch not so i think that's why sikwa na feel way because everybody was like oh cute baby mm. sister angu and everybody hand, wanted to be around you. yes everybody wanted to be around me i talk a lot eh muongea na si ati nilianza saa hii tell me about it Mongei mwenzangu anasema So like uh me si ku feel so madangu I remember there's a time my mom I remember this particular time my mom came akanibaia burgers Okay napenda kukula pia oh my god So mama wa kuja na burger lunch time Mimi na ishi na madangu my granddad used to cook for us Mm-hmm. So my granddad ni he's a gentleman and he's a dominant man mm-hmm. but there's some things he used to do mm-hmm. so sometimes that time wana watu wana fight over at who's who will cook who will, who will I'm like what, why are you fighting yeah cuz my grandma used to cook and do everything and all of us mm-hmm. but my granddad every time my granddad alikuwa police mm-hmm. so tuko tunaishi kwa si barracks they must need to go barracks or whatever i think they are also called quarters Kambi. kambi yes kambi is the precise kwa kambi ya polisi so kuka yangu sometimes alikuwa anatoka anga job lunch time mm. si tunafika tunampata endo yuko hakuna mtu maybe aunties zangu i think walikuwa wamenda college what not mm. grandma zangu akwa job imagine he used to cook for us mkifika nyinyi mnapata amepika eh hey, alikuwa ametupikia lunch hiyo ni sasa za hatuna house girl eh mm. uh, wanatonga house managers sasa hatuna house manager yeye anapika mm anatuachia nini so my mom because of what i just said mm-hmm. i think because of that because so many men wana feeling like watu wenu wa baggage because hata sasa hii Nairobi uta find a lot of ladies are here watu wao wako ushago eh? majority mimi mtu wangu ame grow up ushago most of the time wako ame grow ushago because so you know yeah. you know what i'm saying Aya, she's been in ushago all the time because like for the past 9 years i've been out of the country so unaona hakuna vile utabeba na naye wende okay there's a point i had a choice ya kumchukua niende naye but you realize their education system sio kama zetu unapata mm-hmm. mtoto ni mkubwa na haezi kujieleza so you realize hakuna haja ya kumtoa in this kind of a setup umpeleke again it depends on what country you are so ame ame grow up ushago even up to now ame maliza shule high school, uh, primary she's going to high school she still stays with my yorks because wame mzoea she's the baby of the house. the house i tried to pull her out so for us i think it was because of my mom's circumstances mm-hmm. of 
venye watu Nairobi mnajua kana Nairobi hata achali wa Kanairo anajua want come to mtu wako yeye hivyo so so hiyo time ndo tukaacho hivyo na madhe mm. then my mom mm. uh, got pregnant <laughs> so my mom comes she's pregnant hiyo time ya baga so my mom she's pregnant ndio she buys me baga nini nini so i think she's trying to introduce me to the fact to that you, you, you are no longer going, going to be, be the, the last baby. born eh hey. mm. so i'm trying to easy vitu zote na jaribu kuzi kuzingiza kwa akili but i'm meeting baga so e baga na ni confuse hadi sikike nye huu mother anasema i'm just agreeing with everything mm. and then my dad used to come mm-hmm. because i don't know i think my mom and my dad had a very huge fight because mamangu akokuwa na cha baba yetu like tuende na baba yetu no there was no an agreement where you yeah, the yeah, dad yeah, co-parenting co-parenting and mm-hmm. still free akokuwa na co-parenting alafu akokuwa pia na ile ati tunaenda tuishi na baba yetu zima zangu alikuwa amekati hiyo ties so i don't know if she did it because of society cause na finding you watu wengi waambia ngai because me i'm also a single mom story for another day yeah. but i find that so many people tell people like madam usikubali aende kwa aone watoto wake i don't know why I just don't know why. So my dad used to come and atuiba. Alikuwa na kama na atiba. Now this is your dad. Yeah. Your biological father, father whom he really loved us new from, from school. Again, Imagine. I don't know what was happening but I know 90% of everything our parents do or did then was Kuna not for us. us. It was for, for their, their own society. society and their own selfish M- mama flani atasema ni mm-hmm. ule mama wa pale uko kwenu ata ama kina, watu watani kwanza hii wadi ya watu watasema nini watu watafikiria nini watu watafikiria nini mm-hmm. so venye alikuwa anatuiba those are time i also remember before the bug I mean, it was after the bugger story after my mama kuja tuambie mm-hmm. so my dad comes pia na chip obvious mm-hmm. so he comes and I go to akanita kwanza ni mimi aliniita alinipata nikicheza kwa kambi akanita najua na kuita kwa nini anajua kwa nini ananiita akanita na mimi kwa mimi alikuita kwa nini mm-hmm. kwa sababu alikuwa exactly na mimi ndo weakling mm. i was the weakling i was the snitch i admit <laughs> so uh, he calls me and said uh, you copy mjuma mno my sister mimi mbio nimeenda nimemwita and we also have uh, an uncle mm. mwenye his more or less our age mm. ana shindania na sister yangu na 5 months mm. so si tunacheza wote uncle yangu ako pia uh, aya munaenda naambia dadi amekaa twende acha twende mbio tumeenda tumefika kwa gate my dad has a car po ready as in gari liko start unashio na movie in action gari liko stand by and then my granddad si anajulikana my dad pia alikuwa polisi kwa hiyo kambi aka transfer so mm-hmm. watu wanamjua mm-hmm. so my dad anaona mtu anaenda ku snitch mm-hmm. he literally picked us akatutupa ndani ya gari <laughs> and drive and he drove off mm-hmm. he drove off tukaenda tukapiga lap tukapiga lap na eh so because tulikuwa tumekuja na huyo anko yangu mm-hmm. there's no way yange mchukua angefungwa unajua sisi anatini watu wake so tunapiga lap anangoja story yende chini mm-hmm. then he dropped off my uncle kwa as it was like a movie <laughs> lime drop off like literally si tume sasa gari merudi mm-hmm. akasimamisha kwa kwa kona sha and then akachukua my uh, my cousin or someone akachukua huyo anko yangu akamweka hapo chini akampea machipo akamwambia kimbie na usiangalie nyuma <laughs> I remember Lisa ameenda ameenda si tumeenda so i feel like even when yet tulikuwa na madhe hiyo issue yao mm-hmm. ya kufanya mi kwangu na feel hiyo kufanya tusione baba yetu but i also want to ask apart from yeye kuzuia kuona yeye kuzuia kuona mzae mm-hmm. is there something else she did apart from you know, did you see them fighting physically personally, or personally i didn't but my sister says was yeah, it physical Leona. was it uh, emotionally it, it was, was more it verbal emo- it was more emotionally mm-hmm than physically kwa sababu nakumbuka sister yangu akisema there's, there's this story my sister says i don't know if it's the truth but she says there's a time my dad and my mom were arguing then my dad took my sister and she wanted to he wanted to throw her <laughs> from the window so zika ni ukweli i i don't know what happened cuz i i can't me says kumbuka but you know kids don't say things they haven't seen you know yeah. when your kid comes to you akwambi akulize kitu don't dismiss because No yeah. my mom was there yeah. they were arguing that's what i'm saying kama yeye alisema so it possibility is maybe in yes maybe not but it's very sad what i don't know how to what happens and not in, even just between then. couples even now yeah even it's now still happening so many things happen between couples that they do then it affects 
it affects the children and then unashindwa is it really worth it so this is our question from chanzo do you think our family setup and how we grew up has something to do with how, how we, we grew are. up how you develop to be this adult that you are today let us know what you think yes and uh, soon enough we we also want to host some of you i think it's going to be a longer uh, sexual segment because we also want to hear if you were raised in a different cause so many people say what to a single parents so kuna tabia mbaya mhm i don't know why people categorize it like that and i am just thinking there are some children who are raised by single parents and they're okay they have they're doing good in society some by both parents and they're not doing well yeah. it's like 50-50 but what do you think what are your views you can just comment down below tell us what you think and if you would like to be part of the of the conversation because we want to have a bigger conversation yes. with different people who will tell us about their background if you want to be part peer hapo kwa comment just comment and tell us and we'll be waiting to tell you more next time we'll discuss more next time and um, we just hope that you guys keep on listening to our stories and they inspire you and they make you a better person ama vipi kabisa until next time this is chanzo amorin and I'm um, fish mringie.